What is up, L's and G's? Welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today we've got brand new reveals. We've got Sherry LeBlanc's cards. I don't think it's all of them because technically I think she is still missing her actual boss monster that we got artwork for. But we're going to be taking a look at her. Apparently she plays Noble Knights. Who knew? Uh, and we also got some more Zexel support out of um, out of Anime Chronicle. So we'll see if that even supports Zexel even more because we're getting like the Structure Deck, which could have Zexel support. We're getting Zexel support Lightning Overdrive. So very exciting there. We're going to start off with Sherry's cards, though. Let's start off with Noble Knight's Shield Bearer. I don't know if this translation will be technically like exactly what we're looking at, um, but we'll see if this is actual Noble Knight support. Um, but anyway, this is a level four light warrior. It's pretty noble knighty. Uh, 800 attack, 1300 defense, and you can only use either its first or second effect once per turn, only that turn, so you gotta pick one. If this card is normal summoned or special summoned, you can banish a light monster from grave to draw a card. Okay, takes a little bit of setup, but is just a raw plus one, just one of the most simple plus ones, draw a card. Okay, you can also banish this card from hand or field to add a level six or lower wind beast monster level six or lower wind beast wow just banish it from hand or face up field wind beast that's so specific but i'm guessing we'll just see that with the rest of the archetype okay cool it's a searcher from hand or field i like it cool very nice next up we have horse of the floral knights it's a level three wind beast of course uh, 400 attack, 800 defense. You can only use its first effect once per turn. If it's normal summoned or special summoned, you can add a light noble knight monster from deck to hand. Very cool. So this guy can just search this and this is your Rota. Not bad. Once per turn, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra, extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material, including this card on the field. Okay, so this is like a built-in, it's, it's a Rota plus a fusion spell all at once. That is very good card economy. And a searcher, I think that's two good cards so far. Okay, let's see what the payoff is. Noble Knight Spear Holder, level two light warrior, 800 attack, 400 defense, two hard once per turn effects. If this card is normal or special summon, you can target a level eight or lower monster you control, any monster, by the way. Until the end phase, its name becomes Fleur Synchron. Okay, so I guess that makes it possible to make the uh, the Synchro. Also, it is treated as a tuner. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> a tuner and Fleur Synchron. You can also tribute this card to add any equip spell from deck to hand. Now, that is super interesting because then it makes certain things like uh, Durand Durandal, uh, Infernoble Knight, uh, Infernoble Arms Durendal, because then you could just like equip Durandal, this Durendal, how do I keep, uh, then like it destroys itself, then you could add like a Fire Flint Lady. So this almost can just search you something like an extender like Fire Flint Lady if you still have a warrior on the field. I like this card a lot. It's generically searches any equipped spell. So obviously there's stuff like Different Dimension Reincarnation, Living Fossil, there's a bunch of other cards you can search with this, but I think this is interesting. We'll see if there are specific like combo sequences that it can come up in. All right, next up we have Centaur Mina. <laughs> we got all these noble knights, noble knights, horse of the floral knights. And then we just have Centaur Mina. <laughs> She's a level six light beast warrior fusion monster. So you can you fuse a beast and a warrior, you get a beast warrior. I'm surprised we've never seen anything like this in the game so far. 2200, 1600 are the stats. It takes any light warrior plus a beast. That's technically a somewhat generic uh, super poly target. You can only use its first and second effects once per turn. During the main phase, you can special summon a level two or lower monster from hand or grave. Whoa. Whoa. That's any level two or lower monster and it doesn't negate the effect. Well, all right. Also, once per turn, when your opponent activates a trap card during your turn, quick effect, you can negate that effect and if you do set that card, do you set the card, do you like steal it and set it to your field or do you negate it and set it back to your opponent's field? Very interested to see how that works, how that how that is. Uh, okay, trap negate, not the most important negate to have, but it does let you play into back row, I guess. Also, if this card is sent to the graveyard as synchro material for a wind warrior monster, you can destroy one face of monster on the field. That's pretty good, doesn't target, just pop something. I like that. That's that's a really nice effect as a like a link ladder card. Uh, get to pop something. I think this is a pretty good card, right? Even just the extender effects. If this was an actual just like Omni Negate or Monster Negate, this card would be really solid, really amazing. But I think it's still pretty good for what it is. Okay, next up we have Osole de Zone. It's a field spell. You can only use uh, the first effect once per turn. If the turn player summons exactly one monster, 
destroy that monster, and if you do, special summon one mask token. It's a spellcaster dark level one, question mark, question mark. To the destroyed monster's controller's field, and its attack and defense become the attack and defense of the destroyed monster out on the field, but it cannot attack directly. So weird. But I guess there are a lot of monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! This says, this is generic, pops anything, so even something like, I don't know, uh, uh, Unchained, normal, so even like in other decks like that, right? Like, summon an Unchained, pop the Unchained, and I guess you have the Link 2 right there. Um, interesting, very interesting. Not sure how I feel about this card. Also, if it leaves the field, uh, you, can, you have to destroy all mask tokens on the field. Uh, but honestly, depending on the kind of deck your opponent's playing, you it is kind of disrupting them the first card they summon they have to swap it for a token which may be less than what they want i don't know interesting very interesting card uh and then the last card here for the cards we have today is another field spell double field spells okay soul binding gate you can only activate this card if you control no monsters if you control no monsters and a set spell or trap card you control was destroyed by card effect this turn okay so you Okay, so weird. That's so weird. During the main phase, if exactly one monster is summoned whose attack is lower than your life points and Z1 is in your graveyard, destroy that monster. If you do take 800 damage, then inflict 800 to your opponent. What? No. Just no. This has to be just like a raw anime card and have no other applications. Uh, after that, I think everything else is fine. I, I like this guy. I like the horse. I like this guy a little bit, and the fusion's pretty cool. This card's interesting. I'm not sure how actually good it is, but we got, what, six cards here, which means probably we'll get the last boss monster, which will probably be another synchro, and then we will probably be done with their support. I don't think it's a full-on archetype. I mean, it's a nice little engine. It's a cool little engine, but I don't think it's amazing. Okay, so let's get to the uh, ZW stuff, the Zexel stuff. We have ZW Sylphid Wing. Or Zexel Weapon, Sylphid Wing. Um, this is a light beast, light beast effect monster. Level 4, 800, 1600. You can only control one. You could target a Utopia monster you control and equip this from hand or field to that target. That'll give it 800 boost. Is it just me or does the new Exceed Zex, uh, Utopia monster, doesn't it like gain a negate if we have it equipped with something? I can't remember what it gains. It gains like the ability to do something, um, but interesting and an 800 boost. Once per turn, if your opponent special summons a monster with an activated effect. You can make the equipped monster gain 1600 attack. Okay, gain even more. And if the equipped monster would activate its effect by detaching materials, you can send this card to the graveyard instead of one of those materials. That's, I guess, maybe the best thing we have here other than equipping. Um, I think it's fine. Equips from hand, which is nice. Like we've talked, I've talked about this recently. It, stuff that equips from hand isn't better than stuff that needs to be on field. So you don't have to worry about extending it onto the field already. Um, so cool. Fine. Next up, we have a ZS Ouroboros Sage. This is a Dark Warrior. Okay, Rota Target. Level 3, 600, 0 are the stats. When it's normal summoned, you can special summon one non light number monster from Grave, but its effects are negated. And if you do, equip both this card and one Utopia monster you control. Uh, the summoned monster, Utopia monster you control, the summoned monster. So, like, what? As equip spells that each give it 1700 attack, but you can only declare one attack this turn. Equip both this card and a Utopia monster you control. The summoned monster as equip spells. I'm so confused. How does this read? I don't think this, this doesn't sound right to me. Mm -mm -mm. You control to the summoned monster, is that what it is? Equip this card and a Utopia monster to the newly summoned control uh, monster as equip spells, and they each give it 17. Okay, I think so I think it equips itself and the other monster uh, to it. Um, and then it gains 3,400, and it can only, it could be the only monster to attack. Okay. Um, and then also when a monster this card is equipped to, uh, by its own effect, declares an attack on an opponent's turn, you can make the attacking monster's current attack become double but destroy it during the uh, end phase okay so you make something 34 without their normal attack then you can attack and double them okay all right it has to declare an attack on an opponent's monster so you, you're probably still not otkang but still pretty interesting for sure 
All right, then we have an Exceed. This is Leo Utopia Ray. It's a light warrior Exceed effect monster. 2,500 attack, 2,000 defense, three level five monsters. You know we need summon it that way. Uh, it's always treated as number 39 Utopia Ray. Uh, once per turn, you can attach a material from this card to equip a ZW monster from deck or extra deck to this card. As if it were equipped by its own effect, this, activica this activation in effect cannot be negated. That's really spicy. So what I like about this the most um, is the other ZW monster we're getting from Lightning Override, Overdrive, I believe when it while it's equipped to a Utopia monster, it gives you a negate. So you'd have a negate there, and this guy says once per turn, while it's equipped with a ZW monster card, you can target a, an effect monster your opponent controls and negate its effects, and if you do, its current attack becomes halved. So this card could become like a walking impermanence plus another negate. That's pretty cool. I actually like this guy a lot. The only thing is he can't like overlay into himself, so you'd have to like rank up into him. That's really the only thing, but we have ways to do that. Um, search those cards out and get that stuff going. And the last card we have here is Zexal Catapult. It's a normal spell, uh, hard once per turns on both of its effects. It says special summon one ZW or ZS monster from hand. Then if you control the Utopia monster, you can change the levels of all face-up monsters you control to four or five, okay? So just make yourself ready to go into a, a rank monster. And if this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish this card and a ZS or ZW monster, then target a card your opponent controls and destroy it okay i actually don't hate that that's a really nice like follow-up effect the only problem is i'm not sure if the first effect is good enough if it lets you summon from hand or grave i'd be much more interested um unfortunately it's not so i don't know how i feel about this it is a zexal card so it should be searchable off of uh the new guys we're getting in lightning overdrive but I, this one's okay like if the first effect was better the second effect is nice really nice huh okay so i think we, i think this card's like pretty good but not great i think this guy's re really cool uh, if if he's applicable he might just be a little too hard to summon but we already had like the rank up spell so maybe just this is just great with the rank up spell um and then these guys are okay like he just equips himself and just gives an attack boost and this guy kind of the same thing gets you a really big monster that can attack uh a lot so um, I think these are the two main cards I'm interested in here. And of course, Sherry's cards are kind of cool. I don't know. I like, I'm into it. I wasn't expecting like crazy things from Sherry's cards. Um, but I think they're cool. I wasn't, I didn't know what they do. We only have what one, one wind monster. That is our duelist of whirlwind right there. Nice and wind. One wind monster. Amazing. <laughs> uh, okay. But that's going to do it for me here today, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think of these cards? Where do you think, like, how good do you think Sherry's cards are? And how good do you think the new Zexel stuff is? I'm really curious. I really think Zexel has, like, so many cards. Like, Utopia decks have so many cards. They really might be able to play. Even without, like, uh, uh, Utopic, Utopic Zexel um as a win condition i still think this deck might be able to play but obviously we'll have to see but uh, let me know in the comment section down below what do you think on that that's going to do it for me here though thank you so much for watching as always subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this from me and uh catch you in the next one bye